everybody. Welcome to Sacred Insights. How are you doing? I'm Andrea Bacon, and I really appreciate you joining me today. Um, I hope you're all doing really well wherever you are in the world when you are listening. So it's really hard to believe that we're almost in June already. Like the time is flying by so fast. Things are changing. Lots of changes happening in the air. Um, even after all of the the more complicated things that we've had at a rapid speed, things are really changing. So, you know, I hope everyone had a great weekend and got to spend some time relaxing, rejuvenating. Last weekend, I had a wonderful time. I had the pleasure of being able to work doing readings at a holistic fair at this local place. And, you know, it's, I did some readings for people. I haven't done readings um, in person in several years now, like a lot of people. And it felt so nice just to connect to people um, in person doing one-to-one -one readings. And, you know, there is this theme happening, I think with all a lot of us and, you know, the people that I read for, that there's just a lot of transformation happening right now um, in the collective, a lot of change in the air, you know, people get messages from their spirit team and when they get readings and it helps them really to gain some clarity on the things that they are dealing with. So there's like this collective energy going on. A lot of us have are feeling it. Um, I think, you know, many of us have been dealing with like burnout or energy overload with everything that's been going on in the world for a long time now, um, for several years. And with, with that transformation, there's this thing of falling out, this, this theme of things falling out, you know, of people's, of their lives, like a lot of individuals having their relationships changing and their jobs changing and things just kind of like ebbing and flowing, being phased out, like at a, this natural kind of pace and so that things can really fall into place and it's actually a good thing um the things that you know that are keeping us like from allowing us to grow and expand into these higher versions of ourselves and the truth you know our own truth living our own truth and being who we really came here to be and it's actually a really exciting time even though it may sound like so much change to deal with so we are completing these chapters to do with certain things. Like I said, you know, jobs, relationships, our mindsets are changing um, because sometimes they've really kept us stuck. And that's really great that we're dealing with this right now. It's actually really, you know, a fun thing, not fun, but you don't need to worry. So that's the main thing I wanted to just kind of hit home with this. And yeah, it's always a great time to connect within, to connect to your spirit team because they're always around you. So, and now we're going to have a caller. Um, we have Denise on the line. Hi, Denise. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? I'm good. Okay. Great. So how can I help you? I guess, um, I had, I guess a few questions on like, I'm trying to figure out my direction. Um, I went through a divorce and it's been like about three years ago. Uh -huh. And I just kind of feel like there's been, there has not been closure with it. And I've asked them <laughs> for closure and he's like, oh, you got it. But I really didn't. So I'm kind of mm -hmm. like, am I going to get it from him or where, you, where is it? Okay. So you're wanting like closure on the relationship? Mm -hmm. that, yeah. And okay. Let me see. So you're, you're wanting to know if you're going to get it from him? Yeah. Okay. Let me see what I get. Okay. I know, like, a lot of times we kind of have to give it to ourselves, too, though. Um, let's see. The Knight of Cups, that, that is kind of like a, somebody coming forward. 
to bring you some type of offer that okay. is kind of an, emotion, an emotional offer. I've um, heard that before too. Wow. Oh um, yeah. And you know, there's after there's the after the heartbreak. It's made you put it's put you in this juggling energy of going back and forth and round and round. Okay. Um, but you have things coming in that are going to be meant for you, if that makes sense. Um, things that are going to put you on like a, a path that is much more re rewarding for you emotionally. Mm. Yeah, so you have good things coming in. You have um, stability coming in, like more stability. Okay. If you don't already feel that way now. And cool. there's actually going to be a new offer too. But hmm. it's, yeah, but to be, oh, it's like there's this message for you to be open to being able hmm. to receive you know, um, I heard it too. Be, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Like, go ahead. I said, well, you're saying that some of the same things mm -hmm. that I've heard before. That's amazing. Yeah. There's this message of um, surrendering, you know, because surrendering over to the universe, to God, to the divine, these emotions this need for closure um it is absolutely important to you know pay attention to how you feel and process your emotions but it's almost like you're putting it on on his on somebody who couldn't really truly live up to you know their part in your life and if they couldn't do that it's going to be harder for you to get closure from somebody like that so it's almost like there's other things wanting to come in for you but if you're focusing too much on on that it's like you can't um see it because you're focusing only on the one thing you know on, on that main thing um yeah, so let me pull some more cards to get some more messages. And there okay. is something about a, a house that I feel for wow. you. Wow, <laughs> I heard that too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so again, I feel your energy is teeter-tottering back and forth. And that's, I mean, you know, it's understandable. Okay. But there's this message of shifting your focus so that you're going to be able to surrender these emotions and, you know, get that healing that you need. But it probably won't come from him, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, I I do see somebody else coming into your life at some point. Um, somebody who's emotionally mature. And for you to continue to do, you know, the, to do your work, you're going to be building a lot of a, a solid foundation with, um, you know, a lot of independence. You're going to become even more emotionally independent and have a lot of healing. You're going to have like some type of, um, you know, information coming to you that's going to help you and it's going to shift your mindset. Okay. And this is going to bring healing in for you. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you are going to get closure. Now, okay. It might not come specifically from him, but it's kind of like, you know, this process that a lot of us go through in these kind of situations that helps us tap more into our intuition. And it helps us 
get the healing that we need to go through to heal our own hearts. And it's going to put you, put you on this level up because I see a lot of great things for you coming in your future. And, um, you know, this message, there's this message of tapping into your intuition, listening to your intuition, paying attention to red flags, um, and doing like this shadow work to do, get that level up. And you're going to bring in so many great things. I mean, abundance, emotionally mature partners, and a lot of healing. And I think that you'll also be able to help other people as well. Okay. And you're going to have this, it's a big transformative time for you. Mm, wow. Yeah. It's an what, ending. What, a, what about a job? Like, um, like I, 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 right now, I'm teaching, but I want to get out of the classroom. I don't. I don't want to get away from my field. Okay. I, uh, well, I I am. Um, I see some. You know, a lot of abundance coming in for you, and a lot of emotionally fulfilling a new offer that is going to bring in some great things. But I'm going to have to leave it there. I'm sorry. Um, it's time for me to head out. But I hope this helped in some way. And yeah. if you want to, yes, thank you. I really appreciate it. And you can um, check out any of my offers at Mind Body Nourish on Etsy. And I have some services and some products if you're interested in that. And you can always email me at andrea.bacon444 at gmail.com. Have a wonderful week, everybody.